Hi everyone, this is Nino. So you all know who is Darkness, right? You know, that masochist crusader from Konosuba that always like being in pain, enjoy being abused. Well, I'm going to make my Darkness figurine. You're able to feel pain just like that. So you may ask me, Hey Nino, aren't you a pervert for creating that kind of stuff? Hmm, well, no. Because it's Darkness. If it's other character, maybe I am. Anyway, the darkness I'm making will be able to sense vibration or shock, just like from a flick. I don't want to damage my figurine. It will be good also if it can sense temperature, like from the enemy where Kazuma used freeze on darkness. So in order to make this, I use Arduino Uno. Vibration sensor module, I use the VMA312 from Pelamen. And TC Thermistor with 10k ohms as the temperature sensor, micro SD card adapter module, and of course a speaker. The way it works is first I store all darkness bone and masochist noise in the SD card so the Arduino can play the audio to the speaker. Then to trigger it, I use the vibration sensor and just use some sample code available so that when the vibration or shock detected some random noise will be played by the Arduino. For the temperature sensor, almost the same, but I need to calibrate the sensor and make it so when it's hot, it will play. When it's cold, it will play. After I was done with the coding, I proceed testing with the system first. I make a prototype on the breadboard and I didn't solder anything to make sure everything worked as planned. As you can see, here is the Arduino monitor showing real-time value of the experiment. It shows the sensor value like the temperature and vibration sensor value. After satisfied harassing the vibration sensor module, I proceed to test the temperature sensor. That is the hot voice when darkness gets hit by Megumin explosion. And that is the cold voice when Kasuma can freeze on darkness. It needs some time for the temperature to rise, but seems like it works. Okay, so far so good. Then I proceed soldering the whole jumper wire so that I can put the whole system darkness figure in. This is the speed up process, but it's not that long if you guys wondering, just around 1 hour.
After I solder everything, I remove the breadboard, put everything in the box, and then put my darkness. Well, it's not really that neat, but oh well, it's finally done, guys. And now's the moment of truth, the testing time. As you may see, it doesn't work as planned. The center did work, but not as I expected. I keep moving around the thing, and it's not doing it's not and not, not nothing happened when i was starting to feel disappointed then it surprised me she makes the noise boys Let's let's say there's a probability around 60% that produce the masochist noise when you flick it, but it's still a pass for me, and it makes my heart happy. Okay, that's it for today. If you want to try this out, I'll leave the Arduino code in the link on the description below. If you guys enjoyed the video, please give a like and subscribe. See you guys next time, and remember, just keep trying and believe it, because our waifu can be real. Oh, did I just make a good outro there? Oh yeah, thank you darkness!